there's a couple reasons why just doing a treatment uh, protocol with, with antibiotics alone is not going to be successful. Uh, one is because uh, Lyme is not a singular infection. It's a collection of infections that we call Lyme disease complex. So essentially what that means is it's, you're talking about bacteria, viruses, parasites, fungi, that all work synergistically together to cause this disease state. Now, of course, that's different for every person. You know, some people have higher viruses, some have higher fungi. So of course, differentiating which different infections are present is gonna be important. Um, but when you're talking about uh, being successful with antibiotics, you're focusing on just bacteria. So if there are viruses present, fungi present, parasites, you're not targeting those infections. So that's gonna be an important piece as far as really being successful um, with those different infections. The other part of the puzzle when you're talking about Lyme disease that's important is that Lyme or Borrelia, the bacteria that causes Lyme, has an affinity for the central nervous system. And so the blood-brain barrier which protects the central nervous system from things getting in, which is a good thing, um, but when you're talking about accessing that blood-brain barrier and getting into the central nervous system, it becomes difficult if you don't have strategies to fully penetrate that blood-brain barrier. So um, antibiotics alone are not going to be able to do that. So we have to come up with strategies, and we have proprietary strategies that are able to target that blood-brain barrier, get into that central nervous system so we can be more effective in getting rid of those infections.